Hey guys, it's your girl Shalay and I'm back today with another video regarding EBT. In today's video, we're going to discuss which states are extending the emergency allotments for the month of September. Guys, all that means is that you get the maximum amount of food stamps for the month of September. We also are going to talk about pandemic EBT as well as disaster EBT. Yeah, yeah, that is a thing right now. And then we're going to talk about which states are actually extending hot food purchases for EBT recipients. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, darling, where have you been? Okay, hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click that big old red subscribe button down below, and you are in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love the content that I bring to you each and every week regarding the EBT cards. But before we talk about EBT cards, I have to talk about my favorite card, guys, and that is the current card. Now, you know, I've talked about this card before, but sometimes you got to circle back around for the people in the back. Now, this current card is actually the new way to bank, guys. So think of like future banking, right? But wait, 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 listen, Linda, listen, listen, listen. It is a real bank, guys. It has no hidden fees and no minimum balance required at all. Now, what I love about this card is because it has bailed me out in some, okay, just it just bailed me out. All right, I don't have to tell you the circumstances. But it did help me when I was doing my stimulus giveaway. And not only did it help me then, but also it allows where you can get up to $100 overdraft protection. And sometimes my coins don't be all working together. So I need that additional $100. And if you thought that was something, you can actually get your check two days quicker. Now we are all waiting on this stimulus check. You know, I know, but who wants their stimulus check two days faster? I'll wait. I'll wait. Because I know the moment they announce this stimulus check, you're going to want it. So you definitely need to sign up for this card. But not only that, guys, the card works with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, and Cash App. <laughs> Who can beat that? No one <laughs> at all. It's super easy to sign up. All it takes is two minutes and I'm going to help you out, okay? You can check the description box and I'll leave a comment pinned down below, the card will actually ship to you for free. And I'm telling you now, you don't want to miss out on it. So definitely go ahead and sign up below. And you know, I'm telling you, I'm always looking out for you because you're my family. All right, so I'll just let you see it one more time. And good thing that they have the card information on the back, like, so you know, that way you don't try to take it. Just saying. All right here, so let's go ahead and jump directly into the video, guys, regarding these emergency allotment benefits. Now, last time I posted this video, a lot of people were like, hey, you missed out on some of my states. Let me tell you exactly what the USDA states about it right now. The USDA has granted waivers to the following states that I'm going to name. That allows them to get the maximum amount of food stamps for the month of September. If your state is not named, it's not that I missed out on it at all. It's just either your state has not applied to the USDA or maybe the application hasn't been approved or maybe your state just says, hey, you know what? We're not giving them anything. Nonetheless, it wasn't a site, like it wasn't on my part, it was your state. So I'm gonna go ahead and name the states who have been acknowledged through the month of September. And that is Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Delaware, District of Columbia, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. So the states that I did not include, listen up, Linda, come, 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 come close. If I did not call, I did not call Connecticut, Florida, Illinois, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New York, North Carolina, excuse me, North Dakota. So New York, North Dakota, Ohio, and Oklahoma. Now, when it comes to actually Nebraska, because last time I said, hey, Nebraska is not going to extend the SNAP benefits, meaning the governor of Nebraska said he is not going to extend the SNAP benefits. That was a decision that comes off the heel of mounting pressure. So a lot of senators, it was about 20 senators, sent him an email and said, hey, 
you need to extend this. People in our state need the food assistance. And he's like, no, he did not even apply for it. Now, some of the other states did apply and they just did not have the proper paperwork. You know how that goes. Don't even act like it, okay? Some states did not have the proper documentation and they were denied and they still can resubmit. So if your state is one of those that I did not call, just reach out to your state or look and see um, because they may be submitting it. It just didn't go through, okay? I mean, things happen, guys. You know, we got to extend the grace, give people the benefit of the doubt. But once again, the states that I did not call are Connecticut, Florida, Illinois, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New York, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma. I'm not sure if Ohio didn't apply because we all know that Ohio is doing the pandemic EBT and they are doing the pandemic EBT for the months of August and September as well, even for students who actually um, learn remotely or virtual learning. So that may be a reason why they did not do it. I'm not sure. And the pandemic EBT is only for those that are receiving free or reduced lunch, okay? The emergency allotment EBT is for those that are already on SNAP benefits where you get the maximum amount. Two different programs. Got it, got it, good. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it with this disaster EBT. So Louisiana disaster SNAP benefits are now accepting applications. Now, this is not for people that already receive SNAP benefits. If you already receive SNAP benefits, you don't qualify for disaster. Let me say that again for the people in the back. If you already receive SNAP benefits, you don't qualify. So families and individuals seeking a little extra help with the aftermath of Hurricane Laura can apply for a disaster supplemental nutrition assistance program. This provides eligible to low to moderate income households who normally would not qualify for SNAP a chance to assist with buying groceries, following the lost income or damage following disaster. So in order to get it, you must register. Even if you have registered before for disaster benefits, they don't have you in the system. You gotta go back and re-register again, okay? So if you don't receive SNAP benefits, you have low to moderate income and you need some assistance after Hurricane Laura, go apply, got it? Alrighty, also in Louisiana, they have a waiver to allow the purchase of hot foods with SNAP benefits. So those that receive the SNAP benefits can purchase hot or prepared foods from authorized SNAP retailers for the month of September. And following, they had a waiver that was approved by the Department of Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Service. So normally you wouldn't be able to use this on hot food products prepared for immediate consumption, but they're waiving that restriction because it's vital you know, for the aftermath of Hurricane Laura. So the waiver will be granted and last until October 1st, and it will allow SNAP recipients to use their benefits to buy prepared foods at retailers that accept SNAP EBT, whether in Louisiana or in another state. That's cool, I didn't know it could happen in another state. Restaurant purchases are still prohibited. Now, it's the same thing, guys, as well with Hurricane, I think it was, um, was so it a hurricane that hit North Carolina? I can't even think of the name. But families in North Carolina counties can receive help putting food on the table and get replacement benefits for the hurricane that they had as well. And they said the Department of Agriculture had approved North Carolina the waiver to request automatic replacement benefits for people who received benefits and was impacted by the storm. So at that time, due to the aftermath and the storm, they said that would be from August 4th through the 11th. I think I guess that's what the time frame was a storm. So you will receive an additional 40% of their July 2020 benefits as well. So they'll give you some July benefits as well as those. So you can go to North Carolina and apply. And then the last disaster one is from the, what we know what happened in Iowa. And Iowa is doing replacement benefits as well as grants up to $5,000. Now, Iowa families who receive food assistance can request to replace food that was spoiled by the power damage or destroyed by the storm damage. You would have to go to the DHS website to reply. And at that time, you must have the power outage must have been for at least four hours for refrigerated items and 24 to 48 hours for frozen items. So that's not bad at all. So that's what we have going on. Now guys, I know, I know, I know with this pandemic EBT, I have been searching high and low to see how was um, Ohio able to approve it and what's going on with the other states, why are they not approving it? But when I reached out to Ohio, yes, I did contact them, okay. 
they said that this was actually money that they used from the family first. So when I reached out, they said that this was actually money that was used from the family first response act that they had. And this was new, a new wave of funds. So I guess they are using their own funds that was issued by the pandemic and maybe our states will do it. The more that I find out, I will definitely come to you and let you know. But that's what we have going on in the world of EBT. Hopefully some of these other states can get on board and start applying for the emergency allotments as well. And once they do, I will definitely update you on that. For some of the, um, what do you guys always wanna know? For some of the payout dates, you can check out the last video. I'll link it in the cards, as well as I'll go ahead and put some information in the description box as well. But while you're in the description box, girl, okay, definitely make sure you go ahead and sign up for one of my favorite cards, which is the current card, and have that next to your EBT card. And then you know what? You have that $100 overdraft protection. It's a win-win for everyone. So definitely, definitely, definitely sign up for current guys. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later, guys. Bye.